everybody with another video. There's two and a half minutes left. Bro. Warriors are, uh, I should say, the Raptors are up by 10, which is a shock, actually. Curry's at the free throw line. Makes it. Honestly, I'm surprised, man. Now, I said in my last video that Toronto could still game one considering KD's not playing. Well, I didn't think they'd be in such control. I mean, they're only up nine, but honestly, I thought it'd, it'd still be closer. Now, Kawhi's at the line now. But yeah, man, like, the abs with the KD actually hit harder than I thought it would. Because the rebounding has been clearly all Toronto. I said in my last video, like, oh, Kawhi missed the first free throw. But in my last video, I was like, if KD, if KD once KD's out, who's going to really, you know, hang with the big guys like Gasol and Siakam? And it's showing because yeah, Kawhi makes a second free throw. 9 left on the shot clock. 5. Alright, 103, 111. But yeah, like the rebounding has clearly been in Toronto's favor. Because without KD, you know, 7 foot guy, you really have no one, no solid rebound. You know, Boogie's still hurt. He's not, he's not at the level. He's not at like his prime level, you know. Lowry got the ball. Lowry shoots it, breaks it, but see, Kawhi gets the rebound. Siakam. Five left. Van Vliet driving in. Gets fouled. And yeah, man, like, I thought, I honestly thought the Raptors could still game one. But considering the well, next game. Sunday and this this crowd has been crazy and the main thing that I think a lot of us didn't even realize was like the effect of Pascal Siakam bro because in that buck series he, he well at first at least he really wasn't he wasn't cutting it then he started getting hot but I honestly didn't think he was like with Draymond Green on him I didn't think he was gonna go off but going, oh, Iggy might be injured. Oh, man. Doesn't look good either, man. That's crazy. After this game, you could really say the Raptors have a realistic chance of winning. Oh, Curry got a, got a three point foul. The Saul just fouled out. So, let's say Curry makes his free throws. It's 106-113. I, I'm not going to count. I'm not going to doubt it. Yeah, I'm not going to doubt it because that's only if Curry makes all three. It'll be 106-113. Seven points. The Golden State can do that. They really can. Well, yeah. Just like, this has been really surprising. Not only that, you know, Curry hasn't really taken over the game. Like, he's got, I think he's got around 30 points. But he didn't take over the game like you expected. And Kyle Lowry, he only has four points. But defensively, he's been, he's got, yeah, Curry's got 32 points. But he hasn't really taken over the game. Like, he hasn't been hot. It's been like... Like a sporadic 32 points, if you get what I'm saying. So Curry makes all three. 114 left. I mean, it's not likely. It's not likely, but it definitely could happen. Like, talking about the Warriors. But that's only if they play good defense, you know? Yeah, Kawhi on Clay. 
Oh. Offensive rebound tipped it in. 106-115. That's pretty much game. Green passes it to McKinney. McKinney it got out of McKinney's hands. Yeah, that's game, but that's crazy. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be this far apart. Man, bro, Pascal, see how you like... Honestly, I, I wasn't expecting that from him. Lowry just, Lowry just made a three. Like a 30-foot three, bro. So 106-118, but insane game. Insane game from the Raptors. McKinney makes a three. They're just going to dribble it up. 109-118 final. But... But honestly, I, I'm really, like, shocked. I'm not going to say... I don't know if I can go with the Raptors just yet as winning this, but tonight is a big indication that they definitely could. Honestly, I feel like Golden State played the same way they played in the conference finals and whatever. You know, and, like, right after KD got hurt. But the difference with those teams... Especially with uh, Portland, right? Portland had the lead, but I think the big thing for Portland, they didn't have the playoff experience. They didn't have that killer instinct. And Toronto had it tonight. Not to mention, Golden State hasn't played in like, like a week at least. So I think that helps a little bit. But even then, I feel like just, yeah, the Raptors really showed out today. Especially Siakam, bro. I didn't think Siakam was going to go off, honestly. Especially with Draymond Green on him. Bro, he could not miss tonight. It was what? 14 to 17. 14 to 17. 32 points. Go I have like around 20. I don't know exactly, but he had around 20. And that was like like in terms of the stars, I feel like they played just like I don't know, it felt weird. Like they, they got their points, you know? Like they got their baskets and stuff. But no one really took over the game except Siakam. So, I don't know, for game two, like, of course they got to make adjustments and stuff. Of course they got to knock that rust off now that they played, got this game out of the way. Honestly, I feel like the Warriors needed one, like, really good run. I don't know if I saw that tonight, in all honesty. Like, they've had their runs, but it wasn't, like, like caught on fire, you know what I mean? But yeah, good on the Raptors, man. Honestly, I don't know. I can't say the Raptors are going to, like, win this series. But this definitely makes it more realistic. Like, it's really possible now. If they keep playing like this. I don't know, Siakam's been a little inconsistent. But if he, if he stays like this, it's definitely possible. Van Vliet did a good job tonight. Lowry, even though he only had four points defensively, he was great drawing fouls, days like that. Yeah, man, good on the Raptors, bro. I, I'm honestly surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm like completely surprised. Think about like, all right. So like I said before, conference final. I feel like the Warriors play the same way in the conference finals, except the Toronto Raptors had the like the killer instinct. They didn't. You know, they didn't mess around. There were times, right, it got really close. Well, then Toronto would just get the lead again, you know? Especially, like, with, all right, with the first half, right? Or just the first quarter. Toronto Toronto won that by, like, four. Right? It was, like, 25-21. Now, when I when I first saw that, it was, like, it was, I, it was expected because, you know, they got the home court and stuff. But I didn't think Toronto would keep that lead. Then, by the end of the second quarter, it's like, oh, snap. Bro, Toronto's here for real, you know? Danny Green was finally a factor. Even though Kyle Lowry didn't show up offensively, I don't think he really needed to. Siakam got in for, uh, filled that in for him. Same with uh, with Marcus Gasol. Marcus Gasol in the first half was going off, man. Shout out to Marcus Gasol. He had a great night. Lowry, even though he only had four points, he had nine assists. He got the ball moving. Kawhi did his thing, and especially the bench too. Well, look, like specifically uh, Fred Van Vliet, man. Van Vliet, uh, Van Vliet really showed out, bro. Because without him, 
you know, when he came in, Curry Curry really declined when uh, Van Vliet came into the game. Because Curry had like nine points, and then all of a sudden they subbed Lowry for Van Vliet, and then Curry started getting quiet. And shout out to them. Man, I'm honestly surprised. I'm not going to lie. I really thought... Now, everyone was saying Warriors are four. Now, that's really not the case. But I, I'm going to be honest. I don't see the Warriors losing this series, bro. Even though they were off tonight, they only lost by nine. And honestly, there are key moments where they could have just... Like, they need that one run. Like, if the Warriors had one good run, you know, that classic Warriors... Crap, 15, 15 points in like two minutes type of... You know what I mean? Something of that nature. They would have... Automatically. I feel like they would have won. Like, Just no one really caught fire. You feel me? Peace. Guys got warm, but they didn't get hot. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Toronto got hot. Especially Siakam. I'm pretty sure Siakam made like 11 straight shots at one point. It was insane. He could not miss at all. He could not miss at all. Now looking forward for the rest of the series. I'm sure the Warriors will make some adjustments. I was surprised. Uh, the Raptors, they didn't put Kawhi on Clay. They, they kept Kawhi on Iggy. And Iggy just, just got hurt. So that's how you got to look at that too. But seeing how in now that yeah that affects things a lot. So now you got Iggy out of the picture. Katie's not playing game two. We'll see what happens with Cousins. If Cousins gets better, you know if he starts feeling better and he starts getting towards that you know level he used to be at, now now there might be a problem. Now it might be more you know because it was it was still you know pretty close in all honesty. Like, it wasn't, like, far and away. Like, like the gap wasn't that big. Like, they were still pretty close. Even without, you know, uh, the rebounding that they normally would have gotten if KD was on the floor and, and things of that nature. But if Iggy out, the only thing I could see, like, replacing that sort of production, uh, if you have Alfonso McKinney goes off or DeMar- if, like, Boogie, he starts getting, you know, towards that level again. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, also, so yeah, now you got Iggy injured, so Alfonso McKinney's probably going to have to step up. Guys like Jordan Bell, guys like uh, Kevon Looney. Kevon Looney, he did pretty good tonight, too. There is, there is points, like he, his perimeter, his perimeter defense isn't like bad, but like especially there's a moment where it was him and Kawhi, it was like, damn, why wasn't Draymond on Kawhi at that point? You know? I think, yeah, if you have Kavon Looney on the floor, I feel like you should have Draymond on Kawhi and Kavon on uh, whoever's playing, like Siakam or Gasol, whatever. But yeah, I think, like, the Raptors, the boards really helped the Raptors tonight. Now, Golden State got their fair share of offensive boards, too, which really helped them, you know, score and keep up with the Raptors. But just the rebounding, like, that was a huge, huge part of it because... Toronto got a bunch of offensive, like, you know, offensive uh, boards, too. You know, they got, like, second chance points. That's what it is. Not only that, the passing from uh, Toronto today, or tonight, I should say, really, really good. I honestly thought, like, when you see, at first, when you see, like, the Warriors pass, like, yeah, no one's really going to be at that level. You know, only the Spurs really come close. But looking at the offensive possessions between the two teams, bro, the Raptors, they showed out on the playmaking and the passing, man. They really did. So big ups to them. Now, after this game, I say I could say Warriors in seven. We really got to see what happens. Now that Iggy's out, it, you could really, re, you could realistically say Raptors in six. You could realistically say that. Cause Boogie, K, it depends on KD. And even if KD comes back, he's not going to be 100%. That's a fact. That's a fact. KD's going to be at like 75, 85% most. You know what I mean? If KD, if KD, only if he comes back. Through the Warriors, like, I got the Warriors, like, stat. But, you know, Kawhi and KD, on a less than 100% KD, I think Kawhi wins that every, like, any, any day of the week, you know? Every day of the week. But yeah, man, good good game from Toronto tonight. The home court was really good, man. Uh, 
even though Drake, clearly, clearly the NBA toned down Drake. Because, like, I could see him, he was just there. He was just like, he was like, yo, I'm controlling my urges, you feel me? Like, he was just, he got up at points, but it's not like, it wasn't what Drake was used to doing, you know? He just got up and it's like, it was a little awkward, man. But, you know, the rest of the arena, like, uh, filled in for him greatly. I think, yeah, that, that home court advantage helped a lot. I'm, I was a little surprised, though. I, I didn't know how the home court works. I guess it, it switches, it alternates every year or something. I don't know. Because I honestly thought it would be, like, you know, first seed. If, like, the Warriors were the number one seed. So, Toronto, the second seed, why are they getting home court? But, I don't know. Someone filmed me on that. I'll switch it up. I'll research it. Maybe, I gotta check. I don't, I don't remember the records. Maybe Toronto technically had more wins or something like that. Like, they had 58 or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Just, uh, honestly, all-around good game from Toronto. No, even though Lowry, we all play off Lowry, I guess, on offense. They didn't really, it, doesn't, it didn't matter because you had that defense. He was drawing charges, like, consistently, man. You know, Draymond was heated. He was getting so many charges. Uh, Kyle Lowry was getting so many charges from the Warriors, bro. So, you know, the Lowry works the best that way sometimes, you know. Just, even if he's not doing offense. That defense and, you know, getting charges and things like that. And even with the nine assists, playmaking. You know, it's, it's, it's like a traditional thing, you know. If you can't score, at least, you know, pass and do what you do everything else. If you're not scoring, you know, you got to do everything else good. Same with, like, Ben Simmons, you know. Ben Simmons can't shoot, but he, he'll do everything else. So, yeah, good game, man. Uh, Right now, I don't know. I don't know if I should get bold with it. I don't know. Now that Iggy's out, I really think I might have to get bold with this. It wouldn't even be that bold. But you could... I'm honestly gonna... I could go... I think I'm gonna go with Raptors and 6. I really think Raptors and 6. Raptors and 6. Quote me on that. Y'all y'all saw my Philly. Uh, <laughs> you know, when Kawhi beat Philly reaction, man. But I did say... Look. The Raptors better go to the finals. Because... Philly ain't losing to no losers. We're going to lose to the champs. I would, hey, if we're going to get beat, let's get beat by the finals champs. Honestly, going to this game, and in the back of my head, I still got the Warriors winning, but if Iggy out, Katie out, you know, Draymond, Draymond's not a scorer. Let's be real. He's not a scorer. It, would only, it falls on the Splash Brothers. You know, Quinn Cook, he, get, he can... Give you a little something at times. You know, your Epco's open for threes at times. You know, he'll give you that corner three. Same with, uh, same with McKinney. You know, sometimes, same with, same with, uh, Kevon Looney at times. But, besides that, like, the main load, the, the scoring load, is gonna fall on the Splash Brothers. And Boogie, to an extent. Now that Iggy's most likely out. And if he's not out, Iggy's gonna be at less than 100%. I think he was already he already was actually so he's probably gonna be less at less than eighty percent you know we had a seventy five percent type of thing and Kawhi's gonna feast on that Iggy can't hang with Kawhi at that point at that point you should just leave Iggy on the bench because Iggy's not gonna be able to hang with Kawhi with a you know messed up quad Raptors here to play I'm not gonna lie I think we're all we were all shocked tonight bro nobody was thinking about Pascal Siakam. Nobody thought Pascal Siakam was about to snap, bro. Shout out to him. First NBA Finals game. I just saw that uh, he didn't he didn't watch an NBA game till he was 16. He moved here when he was like 16 or something like that. Insane stories these guys have, man. But uh, yeah, shout out to Sp uh, Pascal Siakam. If he keeps this up, he's definitely Finals MVP if the uh, Raptors win. But you got you got to think uh, Steve Kerr and the Warriors will make adjustments. You know, Curry, Curry, I think, has to take over. If the Warriors really want to win, I think someone has to take over. Either uh, Curry or Clay. Somebody's got to go off. It doesn't even have to be Curry or Clay. Like, as we saw tonight, we thought Kawhi was going to bang. Kawhi did his thing, but not, not like, you know, what we're used to. He wasn't going 35 or anything, you know. I don't even know if he got 30 tonight. But with Pascal Siakam, it was just, like, a different, a different person. You didn't expect spec uh, to step up. You know, and, you know, Pascal Siakam was definitely up for most improved player award, but I honestly didn't think he was going to, you know, come out 
32 all guns blazer, you know what I mean? I thought he was going to come out, you know, maybe have a 15-point game, some some that, like, you know? I didn't think the Warriors were going to let him off. I don't think the Warriors anticipated that either, you know? I know uh, and during one of the interviews, Kerr was like, bro, Danny Green hasn't made <laughs> hasn't made a shot in forever. Like, he's 4 or 23 or something like that. Someone else made a shot off the key, and they never, like, at the top of the key. They made a three at the top of the key. They never do that. So the Warriors weren't anticipating it either. So I'm sure they're going to make adjustments. I'm sure the next game will definitely be a lot closer. But we'll see. You know, we got to look at Iggy. Iggy looked like he hurt something. He might have tweaked something. You know, if KD will come back, I, I doubt it, honestly. If he does come back, I think it'll be, like, game four at the earliest. At that point, it could realistically be 3-0. It just depends. You you gotta you know you gotta expect. See, I don't think Siakam's gonna go off like that. We'll see, but I don't think he's gonna go off like that. But if Siakam's not going off, it doesn't matter because Kawhi will probably go off. So <laughs> we'll see though. Yeah, Raptors take Game One. As I expect, I, I didn't say as I ex expected, but you know, in my last video I predicted the Raptors w could steal Game One. Without KD being on the word. It happened tonight. So yeah, make sure you guys stay locked in. Uh, I'll be back Sunday with more NBA stuff. Uh, this weekend I'm going to, you know, react to some of the new music dropping. I'll try to get, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm going to try to get Denzel Curry's uh, reaction going up. He just dropped his album or EP something. He dropped something. Uh, I might react to, so I know there's a bunch of singles dropping out too. So I might react to one of those. Yeah, uh, I'm also going to try to do... Uh, some anime stuff just because my banner says AMV. I don't make AMVs anymore. I don't even know what I was thinking when I wrote that. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do some anime stuff. I haven't been watching anime recently, but I'm trying to get back into it. So I know the new Attack on Titan season just uh, dropped. So I'm gonna, I might react to that for all my weebs out there. You know, <laughs> let me know. Uh, Saturday, NXT TakeOver for my wrestling fans. I'm gonna. Uh, try to post a reaction to that uh, a little short review too should be great I might do super shout on I don't know the card the card doesn't look that well I'm gonna be honest but yeah uh you know make sure you stay locked in the channel make sure you hit that like button with a German suplex make sure you hit that subscribe with a belly to belly it's your boy father suplex and we out